Hello, everybody. This is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner and President of Falcon Wealth Planning. Today, I want to spend some time as our Federal Reserve is looking yet again to increase interest rates. We are looking also at the midterm elections that are coming up very shortly. And just in general, this looming recession that we've been talking about. I want to share with you the Falcon flyover that we call it, and really some information that you will have attached on this email. I want to spend some time just talking, whether you're Republican or Democrat, I think the end goal is to make sure you have economic and financial stability. And this simple slide here just really shares with you that no matter who's in charge, that the markets do continue to go up. From 1926 to today, the market has gone up and really through whoever has been in office. I'm not trying to say it doesn't matter. Of course it matters, but the intent of the government in place is to run the country to the way they feel is right. Whether you agree with it or not, from an economic financial impact that helps the stock market, which a lot of you are invested in. And yes, over the 100-year period, majority of time we've had a united government. We had one party that controlled both the presidency, the House, and the Senate. And historically speaking, the stock market does better, whether it's Republican or Democrat. And now when if they lose control, the year they lose control is typically bad. Yet again, whether it's Republican or Democrat. And if it continues to stay united, it ends up performing very well that year. Now, this recession that we're talking about here, it's a looming recession. It's one of the few times in our history that our government has said it's not a recession, even though you've had two consecutive quarters of negative GDP. There are items that are coming up here that are indicators that tell you if it's a recession or not. But needless to say, a normal recession lasts about 11 months. Why? Because Q4 comes around where people spend their money during the holiday season. That's why they call it Black Friday after Thanksgiving is because black is the green in any county term. So instead of it being negative, which is red, it turns positive at that time. So it is typically on the horizon. By the time they announce we're in a recession, we may be already out of it through our spending in Q4. And when you look at the performance after recession since 1975, the market outperforms its average of 10% annually. And when you look at your portfolios tilt towards small cap and mid cap, the reason is not only through diversification, but over periods of time, they outperform large companies and you do have tilts in your portfolio. Also, just understanding the stock and bond correlation is some of the highest it's been in recent history as well. In almost 100 years, we're at the third highest it's ever been. And so this is important because when you look at what happens afterwards, historically speaking, typically it's pretty well coming up. And then you look at what's happened in asset classes as well. In the past 30 plus years, we're at the second worst in history for most asset classes losing money. Over 104 of 112 asset classes are down. So this is important because when you look at subsequent years, it does much better. And lastly, your portfolios are not 100% invested in stocks. Assuming it's 60-40, 60% stocks, 40% bonds. You could see here that yes, the best case scenario, what it's done in a period of time for stocks and worst case, and the best for a 60-40 versus worst case, look at it in a five year. Five year, that's worse. Here's best case versus stocks. And look at over a 10 year rolling period. The stocks have never had a negative period of time during a 10 years. And then you look at what it's done, the best 10 year average, it's almost 17% versus the stock market, it's over 21%. My point of sharing this with you is the market is reactive to all the news that's coming up. But just know over periods of time, the markets, businesses, people are survivors, and they will find a way to recover from the recession that is looming. And whether whoever's in politics, whatever's happened to interest rates, stability is happening. We are seeing a repricing in the market. We have seen some stability that's happened, but just know that it's very important to be proactive in times like this, which is why we buy and sell when we see things on sale or when we see things that are trading too high at a premium, like we did late in 2021. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to your advisor. We thank you for your trust and we look forward to continuing to serve.